Okay, so if you have done all the white edge pieces at the bottom, making a white cross, and you've done the white corners, then your cube should look something like this. The bottom layer is completely done, and these center pieces, because they never move, they are in the right place, but these pieces in between, which have two colors on them, red green and orange blue and orange green and blue red these are somewhere else around the cube and we need to get them into those slots we're going to learn right now how we're going to do that so as we said your cube is going to look something like this now some of the pieces that we need, for example the red and orange, uh, red and uh, green piece are going to be found on the top layer. There's another piece I just saw, the uh, red and blue piece is also on the top layer. These need to be put into this middle layer. Sometimes we'll find though that there's one which is already in the middle layer but in the wrong place. Sometimes it's the right one but in the wrong place. Uh, facing the wrong way. So there's lots of different ways they can be. To demonstrate this more clearly, we're going to use Lego. So it's building, building time. time! So this is a story of a um, strange animal called an edgehog. And this is the edgehog playground and sleeping area where they live. Now the funny thing about edgehogs is that they only walk on their edges. Sometimes they walk on this blue edge, but sometimes they walk on their orange edge. So let's show it some of the edgehogs walking around. They're walking around this top level here. This is where they live, where the big yellow square is, that's where they live. Now, what they want to do is to go to bed. Their bedrooms are here and it's shown by two colors like this. The funny thing about edgehogs is that they sleep standing up like that. They like to match their colors like that and they want to sleep standing up. If it's a, a blue red one then we've got to find where the sleeping arrangement is for the blue red piece. The edgehog sleeps standing up but the edgehog because of its name walks on its edges. How does it get down to the sleeping area? Well, it has to go down a ladder. The problem is, the edgehog can only step on the color of the ladder that it itself is walking on. So for example, if this piece over here wants to go down to the bedroom here, as you can see the blue-red edgehog wants to sleep in the blue-red bedroom here, it can only take these steps here and go down the left side. If the edgehog, good, if the edgehog were walking on the other edge, that edgehog would not be able to take those stairs. The edgehog would have to go round to the blue stairs and then take the right side and go down this right side to go to bed. So that's how edgehogs work. Edgehogs only walk on the edges and edgehogs go down the stairs that's only matching its color that it's walking on and it goes down the right side and the left side. Now we're going to teach you an algorithm which will do the same for your cube to make the piece that you need go into the slot that you need down the right side so it's music time! Alright, so that song taught you how to move an edgehog from the top of the steps down the right side. Okay, can we hear that song one more time? U R U R U F U F. That's right, that will move this one down there. But in case we have a situation where we have an edgehog, a blue orange edgehog, which wants to go down the left stairs to go to its home, then we need to do another algorithm. So we're going to learn that one 
Right now it's music time! Okay, so that song teaches you how to move pieces down the left stairs. Can we hear it one more time, please? U L U L U F U F. Very nicely done. Those are all the algorithms that we need to move the hedgehogs into position. Now, let's show you on a cube what that means. Now, when you see this hedgehog here, the blue red hedgehog. He's going around and around, just around the yellow square, just like these hedgehogs are going around the yellow square. This hedgehog is going around looking for the stairs where, oh, that's the one. The red hedgehog can ride on this square. Now, does this hedgehog need to go to the right or does this hedgehog need to go to the left? The left. Good. This one has to go down the left stairs to get to the blue red station. So, Chandler's going to show us how to hold the cube, yes, red front like that, and Shaman's going to show us the algorithm, and Chandler's going to do the left hedgehog song. U L U L U L U L. What happened to the hedgehog? <gasps> it's gone into the place where it needs to be. That's fantastic, right? Now, now let's see if there's anything else that we can do. Here's a problem that we have, which is that this hedgehog is in the wrong bedroom, this blue-orange one. How do we get this guy out? Well, one way to get him out would be, maybe you can just get any hedgehog and do it so he goes right and then this one will pop out to the top layer. Just like here, if an hedgehog is in the wrong bedroom, then you can do an algorithm to make it pop back out and you can empty the bedroom for somebody else. Or what I would do in this situation is to get this hedgehog, the green red one, and do the left algorithm so that while this one goes into the correct bedroom, this one will pop back out. Let's try that. Let's try that. Okay, so green front, let's try that. Right, so what have we done? What, what we've done is to get this green red piece into the right place and that one which was stuck in the bottom over there has now popped out over here. So there's different ways of getting pieces in and out of their correct bedrooms. Now there is a case where um, the piece is in the right place but facing the wrong way, right? So in that case if we have a case where the blue-orange is in the right place but facing the wrong way, then just choose any old piece like this one and put it in there. Let's try that. Doing the... U -R -U -R -U -F -U -F. Okay, so now the piece which was up here has now gone, in, gone into there and so this, the piece that was in there has now been taken out. It's right, actually right here. Now we can put it back in the right way. U -R -U -R -U -F -U -F. And we'll see that the blue orange piece is now where it's meant to be. If you do any of these two algorithms as many times as you need, you can put the right pieces into their right second or middle layer and then the whole of this will be done. I think we have one more left, Chandler's going to show us. Okay, go for it. U -R -U -R -U -F -U -F. Okay, so now you'll see your cube should look like this, then you can move on to the next level.